Hello, I'm Debrix, and ha you want to know how to display minifigures? I got the perfect solution for you. And today, I'm going to show you three ways to display your LEGO minifigures. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with the cheapest option, you can use bricks in your collection, plus an AliExpress or like, you know, Amazon display case. Take the acrylic off, throw it away or something like that. Don't, do not glue it. You know, when I tell you to glue it, do not glue it. Do not glue it. Because, like, I did that, and two of them broke on me. So, I'm not doing that. So, what you want to do is put plates on these and bricks to layer it up. Then you have a stand. Which is a really cool idea that I thought of today. I mean, I did with my Ninjago figures, too. But those are, like, more spaced out. This one's actually complete. But, yeah. Let's get on to the next, next one. Next option you can do is displaying with your sets. I personally do not like this method. Because many figures are, like... Let's say um, you don't keep your set together or it breaks. Yeah, you can't really display them with your set. So that's why I go with cases. But that's a more premium option. You want it if you're like, I don't mean this in a bad way. But if you don't have much money, I recommend put, putting them with your sets. Or making a stand out. I'll link videos in the description below. Of how you can make your own display stands out of simple materials. And Lego bricks. Link in the descriptions below. Next option is AliExpress display cases and Amazon display cases. These are okay in design. It's just a little cheap. That's what you're paying for. It's not premium like Wicked Brick. That'll be our next option. I did some Wicked Brick. Um, you know, I did some Wicked Brick researching, and like we're only based in we're based in the UK, and it's like twenty dollars for shipping. I don't have that kind of money, so what I do is I use AliExpress display cases. Even that one's an AliExpress display case up here. But yeah, these are really good cases. I bought these back four on Amazon. These top, these front three on AliExpress. These are really good cases. You might need to tape them so they don't fall out of your hands. Because that's what I did. I recommend taping them. Because like if you don't, they're going to pop out of your hands. And everything is going to fall and collapse. That happened to my Nia case. Luckily, nothing broke. All right, for the last one here we have is just make your own frames. Honestly, just display them however you want. Like if you want to keep, if you want to have them have dust on them, it's perfectly fine. It's up to you. I personally cannot think of a good way to display these, so ten, so we're up here for right now, and I want to have them seen. But like, I can't, I'm putting them right here so no one can steal them. Honestly, like who comes to my house? Honestly, so we're like hidden. All right, so the last option here is storage. Um, this is, this can variety from bags to bins to latchable cases like these. I've used everything. By far my favorite is these and the Sterilite divided cases and the, you know, the Lowe's version of the um, Stanley brand bins. I don't have the money for a Stanley brand, so I used those. And these Sterilite ones work really well. You can fit a lot in there. Sure, they might chip or something like that. I'm still in the process of getting all my minifigures displayed. But yeah, that's basically it. Let's go on to the conclusion of this video. Alrighty, everyone. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.